Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and I'm back with these colorful flaming twist stitch earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos for fresh beading ideas, usually two times a week and you will be able to make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a short clip of this video in only 2-3 minutes and you could watch it and decide whether you feel like making this project or not and this saves you time and so that is why you could follow the link and subscribe also for my second channel with the notification bell you could also like share and comment you don't know how much you help me only with this action you could share your creations that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or my Instagram page. Down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 4 colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. This is mono filament that is 0 0.006 cm to 0 0.15 mm. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. They are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 beads here and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop with my tail thread and going twice through this loop I've made and then I pull and I'm making one more knot and in this way as I'm always showing this is surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and it's really secure okay now I have this beautiful circle of beads here and I'm going through some beads in this direction. Okay guys, now I have this. And now I'm going to start picking up colored beads. Okay, one yellow. And as I'm exiting from this black, I'm going back in circle through the same black bead. And I pull. Now guys, I have here a loop between the black and the yellow. And I pull. Then I go in my next black bead and I take an orange okay and I go back through this black and I pull again go through the following black and it comes the red one here and I go back and if you can also go through the following black okay and I'm going to repeat it, yellow, go through this one and through the following, orange, this one and the following, red, okay, this one and the following, okay, I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself. Okay guys, and finish this row the same way and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last red bead from this row. 
and what I want to do next guys is go back through this red one here in this direction as I'm exiting from the inner circle from this black one to this side I'm going back through the red one and yes I'm changing directions but don't worry about this and now I'm going to flip my work just like this because I wanna go in this direction and it's easier for me and now I'm taking one black bead and I'm going through the orange okay one more black black go through the red Okay, and I'm going to continue this until here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. And now I'm going to start my next row and for my next row I need two red beads and I go back in circle through this red one. And I have this. Then I go through the black and through the following orange. I'm aiming for the orange. And I take two orange beads, go back through the orange and also through the following black, aiming for the yellow. Okay, then take two yellow beads, go back in circle aiming for the red two red beads go back here in circle aiming for the orange okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and now I have my last two yellow beads from this row, just like that. And what I want to do next is go through this red one here. And I'm taking one red bead and I go through the red and in the next orange. Then I take orange bead go through the following orange in the yellow like this one yellow go through the yellow in the following orange uh, sorry red okay then again a red go in the red and in the following orange Okay guys, and now I'm going to finish this row until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. I'm exiting here in this red, if you don't see my thread, here it is. And now I will go out of this red one here at the edge, the red one that's sticking out the most. And now what I want to take are three orange beads. Why orange? Because my next color is orange. And now I'm going to take three yellows and I go in the next yellow because my next color is yellow and I'm always picking up my next color. Three reds and I go in the red. Three orange beads and I go in the orange okay and I'm going to continue this and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three red beads from this row and what I do next is that I go through these two orange beads and I'm going to take four yellows Four yellows and I'm going here in the second yellow okay and I pull then my next color is red and I'm going to pick up four red beads 
four of them and I'm going in the second red one here that's on my way then I take four orange beads because my next color is orange and I go through the second orange just like this then guess what I'm taking four yellows and I'm going here in the second yellow bead okay guys now I have this I'm picking up my next color and I'm going through this second bead that's sticking out the most of this color and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm here finishing this row and I'm going here through this second orange bead just like this and remember with the twist stitch we increase the number of beads we add at every row first we added three beads and we were going through the only bead that was sticking out then we took four beads and we were going through the second bead of the next row and now we should go through the third bead of the row here one two three yellows we again pick up the next color but this time as we took four in the previous row this time we should take five so the rows are three four and five and we go one, two, through the third one. Three beads through one, four beads through the second, five beads through the third. It's easy. Okay, five beads. Mathematics and geometry help. Five beads and go through the third one. Five red beads of my next color and I go again through the third one and I'll show you one more time five beads and I go through the third one okay guys and I will continue this twist stitch until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row, just like this. And now guys, I'm going to make an additional thread pad. And I'm doing this by going here through these two beads. Then I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the next two. Okay, I'm skipping the one here that's at the center I'm not going through it and when I pull it goes in this direction and forms an angle okay then I go in the next red and in the next orange okay take just one black bead and as I'm exiting here from this orange I go back through the red and through the red at the angle okay just like this then I go through the next two orange beads I skip the one at the angle and I go through the next three oranges just to save time okay then I go in the following yellow just like I did before and I take just one black bead and as I'm exiting here uh, after this yellow I go here in the orange and at the angle and I pull then I go in the following two yellow beads then I skip the one at the angle and I go through the following three yellows and I pull and then I go here at the orange 
after the first, uh, sorry, not orange, but red, after the first red. And I take just one black bead and I go here through this yellow and through the yellow that's at the angle and I pull. Then again, I go through two red beads. Skip the next one that's in the middle, the middle one of my five that I added in my previous row. And when I pull, I have an angle. You see how this pops out when I don't go through it, but I go, I make a thread path under it. Okay, then I go through the orange, take one black and go here through this red and through the one at the angle. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue doing this until I'm up to here and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and see those steps and repeat them until the end of this row. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm just adding my last bead from this row, my last black bead. And since I attached my ear wire on my other earring at orange place, orange angle, I will go here and reach the orange angle. And here you could do without pliers, but I will use them in this case, okay? Now I go here at the angle and what I want to do next is take one of my ear wires. I take one black bead and you should squeeze it really well here uh, because it might slip out of your thread, okay? Then one black your ear wire and one more black bead and I go back here through this orange and now I'm going to reinforce and after reinforcing I'm going here at the angle and what I want to do is go and make a knot, okay, and I make a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I'm going through the seed bead that's coming up next and cut my thread. Never cut next to a knot but always cut after you go through the following bead. Okay, and now my twist stitch, stitch colorful earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my colorful twist stitch earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos, usually two times a week, and you will be able to make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and make beautiful sets. And I have similar project with twist stitch and I'll link them here at the eye icon. And you might also like to subscribe for my second channel because I have a short clip of this whole video in only 2-3 minutes and you will could watch it and decide whether you like making this one or not and this will save you time so uh, you could uh, you might decide to also subscribe for my second channel down there in the description following the link for the short clip and you could also like share and comment you help me a lot with this if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below and down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies for a link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.